Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with Horse Racing Tips for Monday the 24th of June. Well, a quick recap on Saturday. Well, the adrenaline started going after the first race. We got a 16 or 18 to 1 winner, whatever it was. But then unfortunately we had to wait several horses until the last horse of the day came placed at 18 to 1. So... I'm not claiming any profit whatsoever. I'm like banging this. I'm banging men against the wall because um, could have cashed out for a thirty-eight pound return. Um, but no, you know what it's like when the quarter million or maximum payout still still uh, still available. So frustrating, really um, disappointing. So let me get into Monday's selection. So what I'll be doing is, as you're well aware, it'll be three two pound fifty free bets. So what I'm going to do is. I'll be staking one free, two free bets, taking all the prices, one free bet um, at SP. So it'll be basically an each way lucky fifteen. And as I said, I'll, I'll take two boxes for the to spend a fiver basically, um, each way lucky fifteen. So you, obviously you're going to decide what you want to do. But here are the four horses. So the first selection is Master Painter. At 13 to 2 in the 155 at Thirst. Well, originally I was like, I looked at the favourite. I always looked to see can I get the beat, the favourite beat. So I looked at the favourite and what it was capable of. For me, it's an all weather performer and it's not really showing a great, it's never really run above its handicap mark on turf. Um, I'm, I'm not saying it won't canter in tomorrow because I've said that, but. I think it could be predominantly an all-weather horse and may run under par. You've then got the second favourite, which is trained by, I think, Admiral Nelson, trained by um, Peter Niven. I've actually just realised that I actually tipped this last time. So there we go. Um, sorry, the time before last, sorry. Um, I just can't have it. Um, so I kept going down the card up until I could see something that wanted quick ground, or what I believe could run well. Um, at an okay price. So I got as far as Master Painter. Reese Elliott is taking seven pound off. Um, if they wanted to run it just down the field, they'd have, they'd have just put a pro on. But I think it's interesting the the fact that they're putting a seven pound jockey on, a seven pound claiming jockey on. Uh, I think it's a stable claimer as well, a stable apprentice. So I think it's an interesting shout. The second selection is Irish Dancer at 18 to 1. The most interesting one of the day. So it's in the 3 o'clock at Thursk, paying five places instead of three. So here we go. I'm going to show you about this one. So here we go. So as we can see, it hasn't, it's done next to nothing. Um, its first three runs didn't even beat a rival home. Not too worried about that. They then sent it for wind surgery, right? So then they had a winter and it came back in April. So... They can see Thirsk, soft ground, did nothing. Red cart, soft ground, did nothing. Catrick, good ground. Sherdill, that, that, that Sherdill form is decent form for this grade. So then it goes to Catrick, soft ground, does nothing. You're thinking like, Charlie, why are you picking this one? It's already, it's already picking its legs up. Well, that Sherdill form is good enough to be competitive. And look at the reason why um, it underperformed last time. So, prominent towards far side. Weakened over one out, trainer said regarding the poor form shown that Gelding was unsuited by a soft, heavy in places going and would appreciate a quicker surface. Well, it's generally run on ground slower than good in every single, well, in, sorry, in every single run. Um, apart from the shielder run. So it's the first time it's encountering good to firm ground. So I think there could be further improvement. Um, in this horse, it's twenty to one. Um, it's eighteen to one that I've, well, I haven't taken it. Cause I haven't put it down. I'm waiting for the free bet tomorrow. But it's twenty to one. What I did notice is maybe that Declan Carroll is going for a double. Um, because I think he's got the favourite in the next race. I haven't tipped it, but I'm just saying it, it like getting a little like small one percent tick for this horse. The fact that it might have sent a couple there or at least a few uh, with chances. The third selection is Elzal. 9 to 1 in the 3.30 at Thursk, paying 9 paying nine places. We win. I might need 9 places. Paying 5 places instead of 3. This is a poor Midgley horse, and guess what? Yes, he's got 2 in the race. Um, 
I think this one, I've not done too badly with the Paul Midgley also so far. And I think this one, we've had Mrs. Trump so far. We've had um, one this way, which got us a very nice bet up. So El Zal, I think this one, I'm not saying it won't drift. I'm not saying, I don't know what price it will be. But I think this one uh, could be the one. How out is two. And I think it's got a good chance. And then finally, Dan's Art at 15 to 2 in the 4 o'clock at Thursk, paying four places instead of three. We need a fast pace. And this horse needs to settle mid division, and then Paul Rennan, who's in, I would say, form of his life. He's not in form of his life. He's uh, is in decent form. But I think it's four interesting selections for Thirsk races on Monday, the 24th, 24th of June. So if you give me a like or a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment if you don't agree with me. That's fine. Or tell me how shocking my, my selections have been recently. No problem. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters. Over and out. Cheers, mate.